Jimmy and Joel drive with Jeffrey to his campsite. It's deep in the Rockies and hard to find. If you have an emergency out here, there's no 911, there's no help, no nothing. The guys are impressed with Jeffrey's ability to live off the grid, but they're concerned about his security, both now and in a post-apocalyptic scenario. So is your dog out looking for game right now? Always. The hunt never ends. Yeah. Wow. wow. Did you put this out by yourself? Yeah. This is awesome. Wow. Um, store my gear in here, do most of my cooking in here, and if the weather really kicks up, wow, I'll, that's sweet. I'll stay in there. Oh, wow, you got tons of it. Yeah, it works really nice. You can very comfortably fit through in here. This thing is pretty amazing. This is amazing. You know, I don't think I've ever been in a real teepee before. It's, uh, you know, an obviously ancient design used in all parts of the world. Portable, it's lightweight, it's very efficient on heat and space, and you can keep it really warm in there with a very small fire. So, this is easily take up, take down, set up somewhere else if you move on? Yeah. Oh, awesome. It's hard to beat something that was designed over a period of thousands of years. Right. For his weaponry, Jeffrey also relies on an age-old technology. A slingshot? Yeah. This is your weapon of choice. If you just keep an extra set of bands on you, you can use this possibly indefinitely and for any size game you can think of. Show us how it works. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I want to see this thing rip. Right. Hardcore preppers like Jeffrey don't want to rely on bullets that may become scarce if the end comes. And a carbon fiber arrow with, with a broad head. Mm -hmm. The arrow goes in the pocket pretty much, usually with the odd fletch up. It's technique. Just like a bow, you want your regular anchor point. Nice.